Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and if you are new here, hi! My name is Natasha and it's fantastic to have you here. For today's video, we are unboxing and taking a look at the Coffee Cup Oracle created by Amira Salon with illustrations by Sarah Maftoam. 44 cards with guidebook inside the box and thank you so much to Amira for sending this deck our way. I am so thankful so I am really excited to get into it. It retails for $39.99 and as always in the description box below I will link where you can legitimately purchase this should you want to. And whilst you're there I do have a link tree that will provide you all of my social media as well as my Etsy shop where I do private readings. All right let's get into it. It says these cards are a divination tool inspired by the ancient art of reading Turkish coffee grounds. The images on the cards are symbols found in reading coffee cup grounds. The booklet inside the box gives meanings and layouts for the cards. Independently published and like I said 44 cards. All right we do have a guidebook. Let's see. Oh nice. So divination tool inspired by the ancient art of reading Turkish coffee grounds. Reading a cup of the grounds is so intriguing that you can find so many signs, pictures, and creatures in a cup that you want to know more. All right. The cards are numbered 1 through 44, and they are listed in alphabetical order. The meaning of the card are taken from coffee cup meanings and are in this booklet. Uh, let's see. You can add your own meaning to it. Every card will speak to each individual slightly differently. The coffee cup oracle cards are designed in a circular shape to represent the shape of a cup or saucer. The back of the card has a classic Arabian design as you would see on a china set with the eye of protection at its center. And then gives some uh, history with the coffee cup readings. And it looks like you can use this however you want with your own style. And then it does have some layouts. So we have a pyramid spread, the personal spread, and then 12 card circle spread. And then it goes into the card meanings. All right, so let's get into it. I Ooh, that's nice. It's like a dense foam. Awesome. Okay, so I'm going to unwrap this real fast and I'll be right back. Okay, so there's the back. That is beautiful. And then you can see the eye there. Ooh, that does look like a coffee cup dish. Oh, I love it. Okay, so the card stock, it is a high gloss and it's on the thinner side. It feels very flexible, which for me, I love circular cards or shapes that aren't a standard rectangle to be a little bit thinner. So I have an easier time shuffling it. Um, so it's very flexible, but it does snap back. It feels similar to like US game system cardstock, a little bit thinner than that. Okay. Ooh, and it is gold foiled on the edge. And it looks like we have keywords up top with the title down below. Also, whenever there's some gilding on the edge or foiling on the edge, make sure you are careful with, you know, taking your cards apart just so they don't uh, stick together and you accidentally rip them. Oh, these are pretty. Looks like very beginner friendly. <laughs> Ooh, fun. Cute. Oh, I love the dolphins. Oh, that's so sweet. Oh, 
what I got too with this is like messages, communication too. So that's interesting. I like how you can kind of put your own twist on it with your intuition. Cute. Those are pretty flowers. Ooh. I like the like back illumination. I think that's really fun, different and dynamic. So we have the bride, now we have the groom. Nice. So very versatile deck. That lion looks so majestic. <laughs> I love that. Ooh. That's pretty. That's pretty too. I'm really enjoying this one. Ooh. That's pretty. Very cool. The wind is just going crazy outside right now. I love that it's in the clouds like this. Makes me think of Peter Pan. <laughs> those roots. Oh, I love that. Pretty. And the last one here. Bruce Almighty Moon. <laughs> Love it. All right, let's see how it shuffles. Ooh, 
nice. So it's always going to be awkward to try and shuffle differently shaped cards, but there's always a way to do it. It just might be adjusting a little bit than what you normally do. Whoop. But these are nice. The, the flexibility on them makes it a lot easier to shuffle. Okay, how about this way? Oh, yeah. All right. So it looks like, well, you know what? We'll do teeth. That sounds interesting. <laughs> so we've got control or change. And they are in alphabetical order here. Okay. So your life may be feeling out of control. References to the mouth, teeth, dentistry, self-care, Someone may be wanting a bite of you in some way. Very straightforward. It makes a lot of sense. Um, you know, yeah. Hold on, I just wanted to see. Okay, so this is a part of the other ones. All right. So yeah, you know, I am here for this. I think it's very versatile. It shuffles just great. There's a lot of ways to utilize this deck. It definitely invokes your intuition as far as like, there's a lot of ways that um, when you see the image or the word that it brings up different thoughts and um, options in your head too. So it's kind of like a springboard where you can utilize your intuition in which way ever it uh, decides to take you. So that to me makes it a versatile deck. I think it's beautiful. I think the back is just stunning. I like how it shuffles. I think the price point is, you know, the right price point for this, especially with it being like an independently published deck. The amount of cards in here is great. I would always love to have more though. You know, <laughs> you know me. <laughs> But I think that there's a great like snapshot of what you would need for a reading in here. So, you know, a daily pool. What I like about this too is that there's like kind of like an upright and reverse meaning in the keywords here as well. So, um, you know, if you ask for what you need to release or if you ask for what you need to focus on for the day, there's an option there for you as well. So yeah, I think it's beautifully done. I think it is definitely different in the way that it is made. I think there's a lot of really um, interesting cards in here. Like um, the scarab one really stood out to me too, as well as the teeth, because those are things that you don't necessarily see in like your quote unquote everyday deck. So I love it. I think that it's fun. I think that it's different and unique and something that I'm going to enjoy playing around with for a while. So now I'm going to turn it over to you guys. What do you think? Is this something that you're excited about? Is this something that you've heard of before? Is this something that you're going to take a chance on? Or is it something that you're going to pass on? Let me know all your thoughts down below in the comment section. And if you've made it this far in the video, drop a coffee cup emoji alongside your comment. Thank you so much to Amira for sending this deck my way. I'm really going to enjoy playing around with this. This is beautiful. So thank you guys for hanging out with me today and spending your time with me. I love you and I like you. I appreciate you guys so much. If you have not done so, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell on your way out of this video. That way you will never miss an upload from me. Thank you again, and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye!